Hello YouTube, this is GamerDad. I'm going to be starting my first tutorial series on creating a Pong clone, a Pong clone in uh, XNA Game Studio 4.0. Now kind of the requirements for this tutorial series, I guess it would be an intermediate tutorial series. Uh, I expect you to have some C sharp knowledge, so we will be programming this in C sharp and also have your IDE set up and XNA Game Studio installed to work with that IDE. I'm using Visual Studio 2010. Um, you can always get the Express versions of uh, Visual C Sharp Express from Microsoft's site. You can Google that also. XNA Game Studio 4.0 is free software as well through Microsoft. So, um, But if you're here, I'm guessing you already know that and you just kind of want to get a a handle on how to create a, a basic 2D game. If you've seen some of my other videos, um, you'll know that I dabble in uh, Allegro, which is a game library in C++. And uh, I've been creating some basic 2D shooters, just getting the hang of it. I did take some classes for uh, C++ and Allegro in college. And I uh, just, XNA seems to have, a, you know, it's a little easier, uh, more built-in functionality. So I figured we would start the tutorial series with that. Uh, if you want to see some Allegro stuff, let me know in the comments, and I can probably get around doing that as well. So with that, um, we can jump right in. I have Visual Studio open, and uh, assuming you have XNA Studio installed, we can go File, New Project. Uh, under your C Sharp column here, your drop down, you should have XNA Game Studio 4.0 in there and it will be a Windows game. We can call this anything we want. I'm just going to call it Pong Clone. And leave the rest of the defaults. You can change the directory. You want to put the project in if you'd like. I'm just going to leave it at, at that and hit OK. Take a second to load up here. All right. Now, what I normally do when I start an XNA project is delete a lot of this summary code. Um, it's there to help beginners, but I end up just renaming uh, all of this, and I'm going to go over what all these functions do as well in this video. So, um, let's go ahead and delete all these summaries. You can leave them if it helps you. I find it just kind of clutters things. And a few more. And that should do it. Okay. Uh, the functions. Basically, this is where um, game actually is going to get loaded. So, um, look here. It's going to set up your graphics device. Call it with your graphics variable here. Um, your initialize. Uh, basically, we're not going to do much here. It's just um, initializing the base and setting up your game. Um, what we're really going to be messing with in this is the load content, which is where you're going to load your sprites and you know your fonts and all that good stuff. Unload content, I don't plan on messing with that, um, at least not early on in the tutorial series. So we can not worry about that. And then the two important ones are the draw function and the update function, which I'll comment them now. And the draw. Okay, so if you have messed around with XNA already, you know that when you start one of these projects, it already has a nice window. If we go ahead and build this right away and run it, you will get this awesome game window. This is where all the magic is going to happen. So, it's cornflower blue. If you want to change the color of that, you go down to the draw function because the draw function is what draws everything to the screen. And what this is doing, it's taking the graphics device, clearing the buffer, and putting a cornflower blue in there. way to change that is color dot, and then you can pick whatever you want. I will leave it at cornflower blue because I like that color. 
Well, that's about as far as I'm going to go in this video. Um, I'm not going to be really doing any coding as of yet. Um, it's just kind of an overview, overview on where we're going with this. Um, next video we'll probably, actually we will, we'll load some sprites to the screen. Our paddles and our, our ball uh, because this is a Pong clone. And um, probably setting their default positions. It's uh, pretty basic stuff. Um, but until then, and if you uh, want to follow the rest of these, go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love a like and help me out. And I'll see you all next time.